Hello, I'm Marlene Green, and I'm really happy to be with you today. My career has been over the last 25 years, and most of it has been on transformation, and really learning what it is to really create the life you love. And what does that mean? And what power do we have over it? And what can we do to really create being so irresistible and so attractive that everybody wants to be around us? When I would see people who have a lot of charisma, I would say, how do they do that? What is it? What's their secret? How do you become irresistible to everybody? And I did this study and study and study and finally wrote a book called The Seven Secrets to Being Attractive. Because you know we always think that attractive means we look good. And what is looking good? And how come people, some people gravitate towards others and some people no one even talks to? What is it? What is their secret? That's what I want to talk to you about today. I'm a lecturer at the Kellogg School of Management, which truly is the finest MBA program in the country. And I speak about a subject called leadership presence in the face of overwhelm. How do you become a leader when there's all kinds of things going on, up and down, and people pulling at you and managing you, and what it really are the secrets of that? It had me begin to do research on this, and I looked up and from Stanford University, and they did a research that 13% of success comes from the skills you're taught. 13%. 87% is people skills. Can people skills be taught? Of course it can be. Can charisma be taught? Absolutely. How? It could be taught through practice by learning the right tools, by having the right leaders helping you, by having good mentors and coaches, you can achieve what you want and create a life that you love by being present and conscious and practice the skills that you need to learn. I have written two books. One of the books is called Invisible Conversations and this book is about what we think in our head that sabotages from going forward. And as I was writing this book, and I was working with people on the conversations they have, because I believe leadership is a conversation. And those conversations are the moods, your attitudes, the cultural background you come from, your body language and how you move. Are you an open person? Are you closed? Do you smile? Are you uptight? Are you always upset? Are you always open to people? All of those things create that conversation of what does someone say about you? How do they see you? Are you easy to be with? We're going to talk a little bit today about your invisible conversations and the seven secrets of how to be attractive, how to be irresistible to everyone. When I started my career, it started in working with transformational organizations to really begin to learn how to think outside of the box in which I was thinking. How really not to react to situations, but really be in control of them. Kind of think of uh, tennis. You just started. The ball is going at you. You're whacking back and forth and back and forth. And you just have no control. And then one day, after working with a coach, over and over and over again, all of a sudden you can hit the ball. Not only could you hit the ball, you could take the ball and have it land where you want to. You could have your opponent running around as you're just calmly hitting that ball. Of course, not always, but it's a skill. It's a skill that we all can learn and practice. So in Invisible Conversation, it begins with what do you feed your mind? What do you tell yourself about yourself? What do you believe from when you were young that people said? What do you choose to work with? So I've actually taught my clients that every time they have this bad thought about themselves, I say, thank you for sharing. But I don't believe you. I believe in the power of me. And we all have the power. We just have to learn it. We have to be coached in it. We have to practice it. It doesn't come easy. Now you would think, that thinking great about ourselves and positive and having a wonderful life would be the easy thing. How come that's a hard thing? How come delicious pie is too high in calories? And yet if you eat lettuce, you'll actually look better. How come I can't answer that? This is what I know. 
I know that we have power. We have power over our lives, not always what comes our way, but how we deal it for the next step and the next step and the next step. When I realized that we had power over being attractive and having charisma, I thought, I have to share this with everyone. And I wrote a book called The Seven Secrets of Attraction. And I'm going to go over the seven secrets, but I, of course I can't go deep in it, but let's just even begin. And the first very, very, very important secret is not to react, respond. I'm not talking about if a car comes at you, that you just stand there. I've got to get out. When danger comes, you have to get out. But that's also a response, because a reaction could be that you actually freeze. And just think of reaction being that you are no longer on your game. That you've allowed the other person to have the power, and you are the victim. There's nothing attractive about being a victim. There's nothing powerful about being a victim. There's no possibility in being a victim. So number one is to learn how to respond. How do we respond? How do we take that second and stop? Well, of course it's practice. And you need a coach. Or you need a mentor. Or you need someone to help you. If one of your challenges in life is that you react. I know it was for me. And I know it changed my whole life when I learned how to have power over that. Two, which is so very important, is connection. One of the men that I trained under, John Maxwell, wrote a book called Everyone Communicates and Few Connect. Just couldn't understand, what does that mean? We're all communicating, doesn't that mean we connect? Wrong. Connection is when really we have figured out a commonality between us. Do you know what it's like, you know, when you speak to someone, but their eyes are roaming over there, or they're going over there, they're not really with you? You feel so invalidated. It makes you feel bad, and you remember. The next time that person wants to speak to you because they need something from you, you remember how they invalidated you. But when you connect to someone, when you really listen to them, when you really hear what they're really saying, not the words that are coming out, but really from their heart and they know you're listening, you find out so much about them. You begin to connect. It's not about you, it's about them. To connect is to learn about another person and respond, not react. Third secret is humor. You know, when I wrote about humor, I got annoyed because it talked about joking and it talked about how to tell a joke. And all of a sudden I realized, no, we may not be good at telling a joke, but we could be able to really laugh at ourselves, tell jokes on our own self, have fun. This isn't a dress for your soul. We're human beings, we make mistakes. We can say a lot of things and just have fun with ourselves. And the fourth thing is to remember names. Now look, I'm not great at remembering names, so what I've learned to do is when I meet a person, I take their name and I go on LinkedIn and hope there's a picture of them. And I start getting a relationship with them in Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, all the different places that there would be a picture of them. And before I know it, I feel like we're friends. There's nothing better than remembering someone's name, and if you don't, don't pretend you remember it. You could just say, hi, I'm Arlene, and he'll say, hi, I'm Chris. It's so great when you know that you're going to see a person and they actually have the same personality day in and day out. You know how there's people in our life that we have to ask to do something and go, oh, God, I hope they're in a good mood. How am I going to ask them? How am I going to approach them? Nobody wants to call that person. It's such a hassle. Make it easy for people. And one of the easiest ways to make it easy for people is stay steady in your mood. Where does it start? Respond, don't react. That's where it starts. Make it easy for people to want to be with you. Make it easy for people to want to ask things of you. Make it easy for people to want to work with you. 
People want to be with people they like, that it's easy to be with, and they're predictable in their moods and their attitudes. Because when they're not, you're the last to be called. Who wants you at a party, you may be in a bad mood and you sap all the energy. Or you have to call to do a project and everybody's running, getting it done, getting it done. There's the attitude. Nobody wants to work with that. So make it easy to be with people. You'd be surprised how irresistible you'll become. You could learn all the techniques, all the ways to act. You could go to the best schools, but if you don't love and accept yourself, it permeates through your whole personality. It shows on other people too. If you're hard on yourself and nothing pleases you and you're a perfectionist, believe me, that's how you are with other people. When you don't love and accept yourself, it makes it very difficult for other people to be with you, to compliment you, to give to you. Practice it every day of loving and accepting yourself. And last but not least is bring value to others. And here's the real one. And allow them to bring value to you. Be open to accept what other people can bring you. Do you know how hard it is when somebody will give you a compliment and you say, oh, no, no, that's not true. Or they say, can I help you? No, no, I could do that alone. All of us human beings want to bring value to people. We want to feel appreciated. We want to feel valued. When you bring value to people and allow them to bring value to you, you're irresistible. When you respond and not react, when you're present to the situation now, you have the power to create tomorrow. When you're in your mind worried, 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 what you create tomorrow is worry, 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 worry. When you create love and you create acceptance and you create connection and you have humor in your life, it's, you just make it easy for people. It's, it just happens. And then, when you love yourself, and you accept others, and you bring value, then you're irresistible. So now you know. You know the seven secrets of attraction. But it's just like a diet. We know what to do. We know what to eat. It's a billion, 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 billion dollar business. But now, how do we get there? That's the secret. 13% is, is the skills that you learn in school. The skills that you need to get the job. 13%. 87% is people skills. We know, all of us, where we are fabulous and where we need work. Come join me in having the life that you love. Come join me and learn the secrets. And not only learn them, practice it and become it and walk the talk. I am here, Marlene Green, to provide you with what you need to simplify your chaos and get the results that you want in your life. Thank you all for listening. I'm so excited to create a future that we just love. I invite you to join me and others that have worked with me to really create an incredible life, an incredible professional life and personal life, and really have the life that you love. Come join me and learn the secrets and practice the secrets and be mentored and coached. I have a website. It's marlene-green.com. Or you could reach me at marlene at marlene-green.com. My number is 773-294-0749. It would be my privilege and delight to work with you. Thank you.